All right, next day. Guess who's back? My buddy Bob. Ah. Hey, Bob. Bob. Bob loves me because I always feed him. I always feed him like branches. Hi, Bob. You walk with the dogs in the morning, huh? You like walking with the pit bulls. But yeah, Bob went to auction and like took second in this class at the like county show. And uh, then he went to auction and took fourth, fourth, fourth. <laughs> and uh, which is good, but I guess at these auctions is kind of common for people to, uh, they're just, they're just getting tax write-offs is what they're really doing. But it's, it's for charity and that's a good thing. I mean, if you're gonna give money away to have a tax write-off, why not do it for good reason? So the uh, Bob got donated back. So he is back, much to the chagrin of my neighbors, <laughs> the parents of the uh, daughter who showed the, the, the sheep, which is kind of, kind of funny. But I've been considering, I've been considering, uh, buying bob because i like him he walks with us in the mornings like i said but we only got a half acre lot like you guys can see it's not it's not that big but his pen isn't that big his pen's maybe half the size of my shop probably the little bit smaller than the uh this front part of the shop but uh the bad thing is my wife is like she loves gardening and bob is like a vegetation destroyer so if bob would ever got loose he'd probably just eat everything so I don't know. Maybe put a pen in the corner over mill by the greenhouse, kind of over in here. Let me know what you think. Should we? Should we? Should we buy Bob? Should we save Bob's life? Is Bob's life worth? Is he savable? Bob, are you redeemable? Do you have any redeeming qualities? Huh, buddy? Huh, Bob? Bob. <laughs> I like Bob. So all I need is one person. Hit one like. And we'll, 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 we'll dot Bob. Oh, so <laughs> yeah, we're making car videos, dudes. Not, not talking about sheep. What? Are you crazy? So what do we got y'all? So, so far we have modded, we have modified this Moroso can thing, which is fun. And we put a 16 bung on the bottom and a 12 return on the top. And that's fine. This is going to have a line that goes down into meow. And, uh, that way if this thing kind of overflows it'll just shoot up into here uh and if it pressurizes it'll pop out there um the two front lines this will be the going to the block and this will be the return and we added a little steam port vent there like i said before not necessarily because you need to use the steam vents all that much and that nicked the you guys see that kind of nicked the we'll have to go in there and clean that thread up problem with aluminum stuff it's just real easy to, to ding but anyway uh yeah so on the return port that uh, you can use the steam vents to bleed all the extra air out of the engine is what i like it for so we're going to throw this stuff back up in here and uh we got to fill the mounting points for this little our secondary reservoir and uh then it's just basically running lines two and back check out my monkey fab banner so i do i ordered um 10 of these guys so uh, if you would like a Monkey Fab Garage banner to hang up in your shop area, in your shop space, um, then they will be on my website. And I'm selling them uh, for like maybe like four or five bucks more than what I actually paid for them, which isn't bad. So we're looking at a price point around 40, 45 bucks. And uh, shipping is what it is. So I'll probably, I think I can fold that down into one of those... Uh, flat rate shipping bills and then you could just unfold it lay it in the sun and let it become uh, wrinkle free and go hang it wherever you want but uh, check out the website it's monkeyfabgarage.com uh, if you'd like to pick one of those up now let's get to work okay everything is in its place so it pumps me out and it's just gonna go whoop and loop back up to here which is gonna fill this push up to here gonna hook this and shoot over the anti sway bar and tie into our frame and go up 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 through the little nook right now and up through here and we're gonna have to try to figure probably get run in through the block it looks like if we go this way we can avoid all this hot shit over there we'll just swing it right up on this this side of the turbo and uh, kind of 
loop it out this way we'll probably use some like 90 blocks or we could bring it around here let's see around here and then no i don't like that maybe we'll maybe we'll come out that up along the frame rail here outside this and then back to here and we'll wire it here have the hose shoot back through there i like that um yeah that's that's good so yeah i think that'll work and you know what we'll just leave it long and uh that way if pete's not happy we'll kind of build some extra slack maybe a few extra feet in then he can move it over to the other side or shorten it or move it up top could go up top brought it down through there and up no that'd be a disaster that would be a disaster so i think that will work and then once we get that we'll just shoot it right back down the same way it'll go up and then up through now and then i think we just shoot it in through the trunk um yeah above the uh above the the axle pa just like that Bob's just talking mad trash today. Okay, so time for the fun stuff. Time to uh, make hose ends and bleed. Time to make hose ends and bleed. All right, two hoses down, two more to go. These guys are in here and there's no interference going on. So they're going right into the block. Everything's snug down, no problem. Uh, you can still get to the fuel this is yeah it's a little closer to the turbo than i'd like but i don't really think it's going to make a difference you got to figure uh there's water on the back side of that hose and it's doing heat transfer stuff as well so um probably not a big deal uh and there's a pretty good gap i mean it's probably three or four inches and if pete really wanted to he could just bend up a piece of steel and just kind of clamp it on somehow and kind of cover that uh, it comes up away from the turbo because I don't think it's any ever a good idea to have anything close to the spinny thing um, This can just be zip tied onto maybe here and uh, Then up here and you'll see uh, you can pull these up where they're again quite a ways away from the, uh, the manifold and uh, That's good. So like I said, we left them long that way you can shorten them up and run, run them however the heck he feels is a good idea and then we just need to connect uh this guy to um yeah this guy here to our steam port on the return line and uh then we can put water in it and see what happens it should be fun let me show you one more time how everything's ran uh so there's the pump and under here it goes down to the pump to the radiator on the bottom over here and then it goes out the top of the radiator which is up here all right well it goes to the top and then they come over and it comes down over the uh goes over the sway bar and uh, it can be zip tied up to the top there rolls around through here between the transmission out now up in between the body and the engine and over through and there we go so that is the gist of it now we are going to grab a few uh containers of water and uh fix to charge the pump see what happens
some lube and some water. Alright, so that is three. There's one. I don't know what I was doing there. One, two, three. I feel like my battery needs to be charged or changed out. So let's see. Before we plug it in. Alright, and Oh yeah, that's working. Now we're now we are flowing, bro. We are flowing. Uh -oh. Everything seems to be working well. The steam port on the front was loose, so that was like all that oozing kind of sound from the front in here. And uh, yeah, you can see it in there. It is just it's moving water. I mean, it's. It's pumping out of there from the uh, return, no air bubbles, and uh, that's great. It was four gallons total, front to back, and I bled the uh, front, so that's great. That's good news. Uh, yeah, we'll uh, unplug it, and we will put it up in the air, kind of look for leaks and check all that stuff. Then all we got left is to make a heat shield, bam, and it's done, just like that. Uh, until next time, this is Mike with Monkey Fab Garage. Be sure to stop by the website, monkeyfabgarage.com. That is Monkey Fab Garage, monkeyfabgarage.com. And it's got lots of stuff for your fabrication needs. It's got those AN hoses you saw me with, uh, working with this whole thing. If you don't like struggling like that, you can get the PTFE hoses. Uh, I think they're every bit as flexible. Maybe not as flexible, but pretty close, and they sure are a whole lot easier to assemble. I dig them, uh, and they're just a little bit more expensive and worth it. So, uh, yeah, until next time, this is Mike from Monkey Fab signing out.